the forehead of your robot. Documents Department Note. The following record is to be entered as is, with errors of spelling, grammar, and punctuation preserved. Foodies home, to forms, to the lounge, to apropos of nothing. Discussion, pet peeves. Salty crab. Sous chef, 158 posts. October 18th, 9.18 a.m., Central U.S. What are some things that bug you, but not enough to really get angry over? I'll start off. I hate it when people insist on pointing out the proper scientific definition of foods. Like if you call cashews nuts, and they're all actually legumes, or people who always have to say something about how tomatoes and avocados are fruits and not vegetables, as though that means anything useful in the kitchen. I don't care if it's really a fruit to a botanist, I'm not putting tomato slices in a fruit salad, so what difference does it make? Full disclosure, yes, you best it, venting about this is my real motive for creating the thread this morning. Naturally, keep in mind the forum rules about hot topics. Sunshine on my shoulders makes me happy. Three replies omitted. Peter Peter. Short order cook, 18 posts. October 18th, 3.45 p.m., Central U.S. I don't like ads for candy, or other kid targeted things, like Capri Sun, where eating it causes weird transformations, like those Airheads ads, where their heads inflate into gross human-faced balloons, or the old Gushers ones, where the kids turn into fruits. Capri Sun had those ones where kids would drink it, and melt into blobs of silver, like Terminator 2. I guess it's all supposed to be cartoony fun, but with the CGI, it doesn't look cartoony, it looks horrifying. This month, there are these new ads for the Spooky Sour Brothers, they put out for Halloween, where the announcer does this Dracula voice and says things like, A taste so sour and sweet, you'll howl for more. And the kid eats the Sour Brothers and turns into a werewolf, or he says, It's electrifying, and he turns into a Frankenstein, etc. These ads bugs me in particular, because of the style they did it in. It's still cheap CGI, but the kind of look they use is too realistic to be called cartoony. It's still not a realistic style, like how the facial features aren't real-world proportions and all, but the textures and details are too real to fit in with that. The one that really gets me is the you'll jump right out of your skin one, with the too real skeleton popping out through the kid's head. I know, it's just a dumb joke about a figure of speech nobody even says anymore, but it would have been better if the camera followed the skeleton up, instead of showing us the floppy skin sloughing off, and lying in a pile on the ground, with the empty face on top. Also the skull with the eyeballs rolling around all googly is creepy, not funny. The candy looks good though, I like regular Sour Brothers, and the spooky ones have cool neonish green, purple, and orange colors. Do you see the real me? Or just the me you want to see? When there's nobody to call, am I really there at all? 12 replies omitted. Peter Peter. Short order cook, 21 posts. October 19th, 3.01 PM, Central US. Geez okay, I know that the monster isn't called a Frankenstein, that's the doctor's name, but honestly that little known fact you all are so proud of knowing is so much all over the internet, that I thought it would go without saying. It's just easier to call monsters like those Frankensteins and you know what I mean so get off my back. You're just trying to score points for being so smart, but if you're such a genius why can't you read and see that everyone already said it before you? That's my new pet peeve. Do you see the real me? Or just the me you want to see? When there's nobody to call, am I really there at all? 18 replies omitted. Peter Peter. Short order cook, 28 posts. October 23rd, 8.37 p.m., Central U.S. Reply to Peter Peter, October 18th, 15.45. Requote of original post omitted. I tried some spooky Sour Brothers and take back what I said about the ad, it's really realistic. Does anyone know how to get a hold of a real person at the Young Candy Company that makes Sour Brothers? I went to their site, but they only had a paper mail address, and I need to talk to them sooner than that. I'm so cold. Do you see the real me? Or just the me you want to see? When there's nobody to call, am I really there at all? No further posts by this user found. <laughs>